What's up, guys? Welcome back to Lake Town. Um, in this episode, Doug decided to cut off Hammer's leg because he was tired of him trying to escape. <laughs> so, basically, Hammer's been escaping, or not escaping, but attacking the door multiple times, and every time I sing Doug over here with his spear, you know, he stops him. And then Hammer goes back to bed, and he rests it off, and then he gets up, and he punches the door some more. Uh, well, this time... Doug decided that he's had enough of Hammer's shenanigans and he just flat out decided to cut off his leg. So Hammer will not be attacking the door anymore and Doug can go nap. Uh, he did he did get bruised in the foot. Uh, I guess Hammer Hammer stepped on him. Brought down the hammer foot. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> So I did plan out some stuff, uh, pretty much exactly what I talked about at the end of the last episode. A super long hallway. Uh, you can actually only plan out, I just learned this, um, 63 spaces, I think it was. 60, yeah, you can only plan out, oh no, I guess it's 51 spaces. Uh, it just, it won't go any further than that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a hallway that's going to run just pretty much all the way up here. And we have a geothermal geyser in it, and then we're going to wall off this section right here. And I made a little area for our uh, our dead colonists, our dead heroes, uh, so they can be remembered and honored over here. Uh, I say remembered and honored, it's kind of just tucked in the corner. But I felt that was a good space to put it. It's nice, and it's, it's tucked away, and it's quiet, and they can rest in peace. And we're probably going to do something with this field. Um, we might step up our farming game, and also, depending on how it goes, uh, we might turn this into a little residential area, like maybe have some uh, some cabins kind of just lining the wall like so, and then use this middle section for either more houses or farming. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, eventually, we'll probably need some more some more tables and stuff. Maybe we'll have a secondary dining hall over here or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's... I mean, I honestly, I only brought you guys back because I thought it was funny that Doug was tired. I think this was probably like the fourth or fifth time Hammer tried to break through the door since the last episode. And Doug's just like, you know what, I'm tired of your shit. And he's just, I'm taking your leg. I'm taking it with me as a souvenir. And you can't have it. You have to behave. Um, unfortunately, no one's going to go save Hammer because everyone's sleeping and no one cares. I guess Danielle's going to go do it now. No, she's going to go repair the door. Just in case he decides to claw at it. I'm not actually going to try to save him. I'm assuming someone will come along and save him eventually. Merlin's going to go play horseshoes. And he's hauling some stuff. Doug doesn't care. Danielle's cleaning. Hammer, I'm sorry, but you just... You tried to break out too many times and now nobody cares. Uh, maybe I should give these guys like something to do. I mean, you don't need anything, which is good. Maybe I should give you guys, like, a chess table over here in the corner. That way you can get a little bit smarter and not try to break stuff. Let's do that. Let's give you guys a wooden chess table right there. And I will give you guys nice chairs for the chess table. Chess deserves nice chairs. It's a gentleman's game. I make that sound like I play chess. I don't. I know how to play. I've played it before, but while everyone was doing chess club in school, and by everyone I mean the chess people, I was in computer club, playing StarCraft and Warcraft and ladder matches, and that's what that's what I was doing in my, my air quote club activity throughout high school. Computer club. We didn't program, we didn't code, none of that stuff. Just played StarCraft ladder. <laughs> Set up tournaments. It was it was good times. It was a lot of fun. Speaking of StarCraft, I'm I'm thinking about doing possibly StarCraft 2 ladder matches for the channel. I I'm really bad at StarCraft. Um but I've been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm and I've been watching StarCraft uh off and on for the last I don't know, for the last long time. Uh, I watch it off and on all the time. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of that StarCraft 2 itch, so I might just do like every ladder match I play, post it, and you guys can can make fun of me and stuff. 
Uh, not really sure what's going on with this. There was supposed to be a table and a, a chess table here. Or a chess table and a chair, rather. Yeah. Alright, well, I really have uh, nothing else that I can think about talking about. And I don't necessarily feel the need to keep rambling on. Because this is a RimWorld video, this is not a StarCraft video. Although, I guess it could be. We are on a planet. We could pretend the Raiders are Zergs. And they're trying to attack us. Sending all the lings. Alright, enough of that. I think I'm just going to pause the recording. Because, uh, like I said before, these guys are pretty much just going to be cleaning. And that's pretty much going to be it. It's going to take a while for us to get this wall. I'll probably start working on that in the meantime. Um, and we are very slowly getting cloth. Uh, we don't have a sun lamp in here. I knew I was missing something. They're actually kind of growing. I don't really want to put a sun lamp in the middle there, but I will! <laughs> Hopefully that... Nope, that does take away a stockpile thingy. Uh, let's cancel that, and let's move... I guess I'll put... Hmm. This is awkward. Let's just use lots of electricity. Let's just, let's just use the electricity. It's fine. Uh, I could probably power this and not have to worry too much. I still don't know if these guys have to be outdoors, if they'll, like, catch on fire or anything in a, in a rainstorm or just rain shower. All right, you guys should be growing now. All right, we're getting plenty of food. We got a good amount of meat from that little boar hunt we had. Um, we could use the slag of my jigger. Um, electric smelter. <laughs> we could use that. And of course, I say I ran out of things to talk about, and somehow I figure out a way to keep on making conversation. Let's go ahead and mine these guys out. Um, hello, everyone from from Brakeso Galga. Yep, I think it's time to get this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Slate wall. Um, don't really need a door. But I will build one just so it gets roofed over. Or I'll build a, a wall rather. And then we're also going to do the outer wall again so I can run the power along it. Alright, well, hopefully that'll get done soon. Um, I think, for real, I am going to pause the video now because nothing interesting is happening. Pretty much business as usual. Um, and I don't really have anything to, to chat about on a personal level. So, yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys in a few minutes. Well, that was quick. Usually when I pause videos, stuff happens almost immediately, and yep, we have some more pirates from Cruelty Unit, the same people that attacked us before, and they are attacking immediately, and I'm kind of waiting to see for the, or waiting for them to spread out to see how many there are. Uh, looks like it's just going to be six. We have a PDW, charge rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, sniper rifle, and a charge rifle. Uh, thankfully, they're bringing us some parkas, they're bringing us some helmets, and I'm assuming some armor vests as well. Unfortunately, uh, none of it is super high quality. But, the the last patch did make it so our colonists will prefer to wear poor quality stuff over uh, nothing. So they're attacking immediately, so we're going to pretty much rally everyone up to the middle. And Tally, I can already tell you... Um, I want her, I'm feeling this spot right here, Merlin, who is no longer wearing his helmet, he decided he wanted the cowboy hat instead, uh, he can have this corner up here, Doug with his super deadly spear, uh, as we found out with Hammer, 
can hang out up here and I'll bring Trigger up here as well. Trigger just has a shiv, unfortunately. Uh, we did get a statue made. I guess I can read that real quick. Um, it's it's awful quality. It's minus 18 beauty. Uh, the first statue we made had absolutely nothing to do with the colony, so I just sold it and didn't even bother telling you guys about it. You, if I mean, I'm bringing this up now in case you guys noticed it. Uh, but it, it literally had nothing to do with the colony. It was just some generic description. But this one right here is titled Blue Cliff. This piece bears an illustration of Halle Orion hunting a wild boar on October 6th, 5501. The wild boar is looking around as though he senses that something is wrong. There is a city in the background. The geometric style of the central scene clashes with the erotic depiction of the background. The erotic depiction of the city. I would just like to point that out. Um, and also I'm not sure why this is going in here and apparently I didn't make that bigger. I did tell you guys I, I made this bigger, right? I hope I did. Well, I mean, in any case, I did make it bigger. Um, also, I need to move the door over one because that's out of center since I made it bigger. Yep. One of those things. <laughs> I'll have to do that as well. Let's go ahead and do it now because I'll forget about it. Let's go ahead and concrete it up deconstruct this wall and this door yeah and the lights need to get moved down too good times good times indeed the joys of wanting everything evenly centered alright uh, we were getting ready for combat actually so a lot of people already have their places set up tail with her longbow can kinda hang out uh, I guess at this corner Gamboa just has a pistol, so we can put him up here near the turret. Andy has a pump shotgun, so he can take this corner up here. Decker actually managed to snag himself a personal shield, uh, which I would probably like Doug to have. So let's... Uh, Decker doesn't even have a weapon, so let's move him in there. Scottish doesn't have a weapon either, so let's move him in there. Trigger's going to his position. Danielle with her sniper rifle. Uh, she can actually have this corner over here and tail right there Kasuba ah, I'm panicking okay critical alert colonist needs treatment Andy already got hit uh, he got shot in the he got shot by the turret okay Andy I have decided that this is not a good location for you I've just now decided this. Merlin, if you want to fall back, I would approve. Because you're going to get shot by the turret. Okay, he's down already. Uh, just hang out back here. Everything's happening so quickly. Alright, the two of you... No, take take him down. Take him, take him down. Take him down. <laughs> Melee attack. Gang up on him. Take him down. Okay, he's down. Kamboa got shot probably by the turret, I'm gonna guess. Uh, no, he got shot by a charge rifle, so... I guess someone up here managed to hit him. Uh, Kamboa, we're gonna undraft you so you can go back. Andy, we're gonna undraft you so you can go back. And we're gonna let these guys kind of funnel in. Let's see how you guys are doing up here. I don't think he's doing that well. Galena got cut off. Her left ring finger got cut off, rather. Um, Hallie's still taking some shots. They're going for the turret. Galena got taken down. Right leg, right foot, left arm. You guys are mean. Let's undraft you guys. Hilda's going to make it away. Uh, let's bring Hallie up here, and we'll bring Danielle up here to see if maybe they can catch him. We'll undraft all of you guys. So you can go about your business. Trigger, if you want to strip and then capture. That would be fantastic. Uh, never even rebuilt that turret over there. Scottish, I did. Yeah, okay, you're deconstructing the door. And I would like a slate auto door, 
please, with a limestone block wall. As soon as Scottish decides to finish, I'm guessing that you guys didn't catch any of them. Come on now. Come on now. Thank you. All right. Uh, easy peasy. Took a few hits. Andy, unfortunately, got nailed pretty good by the turret. Uh, that was entirely my fault. Poor positioning. Um, let's put some, some nice lamps outside. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and get this steel turret back up. And we also need to haul stuff away. I think we're doing okay. Um, we do need to actually come out here and start hauling some limestone. Because we're pretty much out of limestone. I could go mine this down here. Uh, which I'm tempted to. And also, I'm also I'm tempted to add a few more bedrooms down here and make another little single hull. Uh, because we'd be able to fit two more rooms right here. But then they'd be on the outer wall. Uh, which I don't really like the idea of that. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and... Let's do this. And then we'll wall this section off. Uh, that way these guys are, are nice and safe. I much prefer that plan. Um, and we do have a decent amount of slate at the moment thanks to this little mining project down here. This did get finished which is nice. So we can go ahead and deconstruct that. Get our geothermal generator set up like so. And I will concrete off the outer two. I've given up on wanting to floor in the whole area first. <laughs> I, yeah. It's a waste of materials. It, it really is. Um, we're gonna wall all the way down here and we should have enough slate to at least finish this section of the wall I hope um, and we don't really need that door right now either and I'm not gonna take this wall down until this hall is finished alright well we have some bro at the desert people visiting which is kinda kinda fancy um, we have some weapons out here that we can grab that I forgot to grab and also some people to strip. Tail, if you could strip these guys. Uh, give everyone some winter clothing, that would be great. And it looks like we did get a good quality melee weapon. We got a good quality Plasteel Longsword. Uh, 22 damage, 2 second melee cooldown. We're going to give that to Trigger. If I can find him. Trigger's sleeping. Alright, um, and then we need to give the personal shield to someone else. So I'm going to wake Trigger up, and who had the personal shield? It was Decker. If you could drop that. And we'll see if one of the other melee people picks it up. I would like Doug to pick it up. Uh, he's wearing an armor vest. I could force him, I just I want to see if he'll do it naturally. He won't. Alright, well I'm going to force him to wear it. And we do have Galena. Do we want to capture Galena? Uh, you should be okay with your movement and stuff. You're not super great on stats. I guess, I mean, again, you'd be a, another another person. You're a nudist and a pessimist. I'm going to go ahead and vote no. Uh, Dean, again, I don't really care about because his stats are lo so low. Hammer, I don't care about because he's abrasive. And it's nice being able to be picky about who joins your colony. Alright, well Decker, if you're gonna wear all this stuff, I think he, he already got himself an armor vest. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna melee, make a melee outfit real quick. So, uh, new outfit. I will name you warrior and you can wear whatever you want except for an armor vest and then during the summer I can just have them take off their uh, or I can make another outfit if I felt 
so inclined um, I could have them take off their parkas alright so that's gonna be the new outfit for warrior and Doug is gonna be a warrior as well as a trigger and Decker since you keep taking armor you're gonna be a warrior too buddy uh, unfortunately this means they won't be able to wear the armor vests at the moment but I'm okay with that and I'm gonna clear the forced because that shouldn't be forced anymore all right well stuff was achieved this episode what stuff uh, well we survived some raiders I think we had two raider attacks this episode uh, I rambled a little bit and that's pretty much it I think right I think so I don't know it's kinda hard to tell what all's happened in the last 20 minute span or like half hour span when you're pretty much just having fun playing um, again this game is fantastic and I always put links in the video descriptions to any game that I'm playing in case you guys want to check out the game uh, so definitely check it out it's a great game you know it'll be nice when it gets on Steam and you get those auto download or auto updates downloaded that's gonna be great except when it messes up your save files it's probably not gonna be so great yeah I don't know I kinda just talked myself into something and talked myself out of something five seconds later uh, I guess that's skill <laughs> uh, slave traders passing nearby which is pretty awesome um, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up for right now let's drag the power all the way through here and once we're inside the wall I'll probably run another line over here as well just to connect everything up uh, let's go have a chat with the slave trader though unfortunately it's gonna make everyone angry um, I know that selling one person is minus eight I'm not sure if selling multiple people will stack so it'll be 24 um, let's sell off our poor quality weapons though and I'll sell this off because or the normal ones because the they're damaged uh, the arm I want to keep you guys have very expensive medicine we're okay on medicine because I sucked it up and bought some expensive ones or some expensive medicine rather um, we have the arm check these guys out real quick health neck and leg your moving is at 80 from a scratch scar that doesn't make sense that's a deep scar um, incapable of dumb labor he was a medieval slave that became a medieval lord I feel like if I was more creative that would make an excellent backstory uh, he's trigger happy he's depressive and he doesn't drink he's really solid at combat and social um, Hallie needs a friend right maybe we'll uh, we'll pick him up so he can do nothing with Hallie uh, he's he's incapable of all labor that's so good uh, he can help with the art and let's check out Fausto the commissar no injuries um, this is the first commissar I've ever seen that has a terrible shooting skill I guess it's because he's a brawler uh, not interested in him hmm do we really need another colonist probably not do I want to get another colonist yes <laughs> These poor quality charge rifles are actually worth a lot. Do I want to sell this poor one? Um, its accuracy is not that great. I guess that's not too bad short range, but I'd rather them not be short range. Um, the minigun sells for a lot. Wow. Accuracy at long range, 10. I know it's accuracy by volume, but still. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Ellis, the noble. I am okay with this decision and there's the drop pods and there's Ellen Ellis let's go ahead and your shooting skill um, you need you need a weapon do we have any weapons for you we don't we're gonna have to turn off your hunting for right now and then give you a weapon soon I feel like maybe I should that's Hallie where's Ellis there's Ellis I feel like I should uh perhaps give him or maybe take a weapon away from someone else let's set him to winter and you know what I'm going to 
just delete the worker outfit and delete the soldier outfit do I want to take his gun away from someone I don't think so we're just gonna wait um, is there a weapon on the ground that he could have take the pistol is it a, it's a normal quality pistol so it'll be fine for right now uh, yeah good stuff got another colonist uh, we need a bed for him, which is kind of weird. I figured we had plenty of beds, but I guess not. This little area down here is sounding even better to turn into houses, but I think I'll just start building some houses up here. Uh, I'll finish off this wall and then do that. For now, he can sleep in here. Um, that is going to wrap up this episode. I always manage to drag it out just a few minutes longer, so I hope that's okay with you guys, because it's certainly okay with me, because I'm just enjoying the game and having fun talking to you guys. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's going to be the end of this one. We survived some raids that Randy Random was kind enough to send our way. Uh, we did need the parkas. Thankfully, we got some parkas from their corpses. Um, we managed to make some money selling off some, some slaves, and we still have a good amount of money. We actually got... Ellis pretty much for free. We traded three wounded people with crappy skills for someone that's at least good at shooting. And now Hallie has someone that she can hang out and do nothing with, so that's going to be nice for her. Um, hopefully our food situation stays fine. We're running a little low on food, and this power situation is certainly not helping. Um, I think we'll be okay once we get, once we get this geothermal set up. And these wind turbines are just not as reliable as they used to be. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.